accessing memory banks. Oh, man. I remember that. Mega Man Soccer. Oh, yeah. Remember that time Dr. Wily, he cloned himself, and he was part of the opposite team? Oh, man. And I was playing with Dust Man, and Wood Man, and Proto Man. Oh, man, those were the days. Ah, oh, too bad Dr. Wily's such a psychopath now. He had to make these special robots that... called the Doc Robots. Just two more to go. Oh, yeah, I remember Proto Man. Oh, man, he was so good at this game. All right, I got two more of these damn robots to kill. Let's do it. Welcome, not to the Max Bone, but the Max Stone. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. We have the final Doc Robot stage. The last two Robot Masters, Woodman and Heatman, infused Doc Robots. This time taking place in Shadow Man stage. As you can see, there were a lot of spikes there. Be careful, don't just fall down the ladder. The one exception to my rule of falling down the ladder. You want to climb down the ladders this time. Got some of these guys. These are always easy. And... Oh, yes. We got some of these platforms. Oh, boy. Um, we're going to try it the old school way. See what happens. Got to jump right away. Can't linger too much. So, be... Okay, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, this time I'll use uh, Rush Jet. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> that uh, brief scene was from Vertical Limit. It's in the beginning scene of Vertical Limit. Probably like two or three seconds of it. <laughs> anyway, that big ass thing, just go underneath it. There's no point in fighting it. Um, usually those big ass things, it's just better to go under them or otherwise dodge them. They're not almost uh, nine times out of ten. They're just not worth fighting. Just get around them. I've kind of belabored to death the point of retreating versus fighting. I think I've discussed that many times. Sometimes it's good to retreat. Sometimes it's good to fight. And part of it is the Mega Man is figuring out the strategy. Should you retreat, just get around enemies, or should you actually fight them to kill them? And maybe there's a way you can stun them or injure them. I don't know. Anyway, his first one is modeled after Woodman. And I think his weakness is the needle gun. Alright, let's do it. I'm going to crush you, that Mega Man. I have the strength and raw force of Woodman. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh, man. Alright. Good thing I'm rebuilt. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> oh, ready for more, Mega Man? <laughs> of course, you do not have the needle gun. Oh, oh wait a minute. You do. No! No, and you have energy tank! No! No! Alright, now on to the second part. The second part of Shadow Man stage was a lot harder than I thought. Um, those things, you can use your Mega Cannon or Mega Buster. Um, it's better if you use Hard Man's weapon. Take him out in one hit. Hard Man's knuckle, you can kind of guide it somewhat. Guide it either slowly up or down, so you have some control over it. Semi-homing, I guess. Now, what's my tr what's my uh, strategy for jumping over pits? That's right, to always look before you leap. Take time, don't just rush into it. Um, scroll the screen just a little bit, and only jump when you're ready to jump. Because usually what will happen is an enemy will come at you, so you take out the enemy, then jump. 
Many issues with platforming come when you jump too early and you jump right into an enemy that then knocks you off the cliff or something. So he's got to be careful about that. <clears throat> uh, that part especially can be tricky. Those jumping things are really annoying. But you get through that and we're close to the second second Doc Robot. This time modeled after the final Mega Man 2 Robot Master, which is Heat Man. Heat Man. Freaking blue based robot. Burn, 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 burn. Ah, <laughs> die, die, Mega Man, die. Oh no. Ah. All right, that's it for the Doc Robots. Now the game can really begin. But first, Proto Man has a word for us. An important message. Stay tuned. <laughs> 